There are two types of HPV vaccine. One has uh, been created with small particles of four types of virus. Another one has just two types of uh, HPV most commonly found. Both should be administered in three doses and both equally safe. It's FDA approved and the ideal age of vac for vaccination is 11 till 26. Any vaccination, any medication, any treatment can give you problems or side effects. It could be pain at the time of injection, it could be malaise, it could be fever. I was fortunate enough, I just saw one case where the person had feverish condition and the white count on the blood cells was very high and within three or four days everything came back to normal. Every vaccine has side effects and it's all depending on peculiarities of the immune system of certain individual. In general, it's very safe. You absolutely need your pap test, regardless whether or not you received vaccination or not. The vaccine is designed to protect you from certain genotypes. You can get any others. There are more than 30. There is a very common picture in the office. How could I have HPV positive pap? I got vaccinated, are you kidding me? I'm not. Vaccine is created to protect you from certain genotypes. It can give you cross protection, but it's no guarantee that you didn't pick up this particular genotype at a certain point of your life. And I'm never going to be able to tell you when and who gave it to you. What, for example, if you already have human papillomavirus and you're young and you think, can something be done to help me, to prevent me from getting other types of viruses? If you had one particular type of HPV, chances are you're already immune to this type. You're not gonna get the same one via reinfection. And the rest studies showing that being vaccinated somehow slows your chances of developing cervical cancer. So I'm all pro-vaccination, and it's not only for girls boys are vaccinated too.